double standard much, Knox? I, I gotta say, my guy, you do look a little sus about this situation. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What's good? Great white gang. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. Because, yes, I have seen this before. And truth be told, I meant to do this sooner. So, yeah, we are a little tardy to the party in regards to this video. I meant to do this as a follow up uh, from my Chill Rock reaction. Um, I believe it was a reaction, if not a review. But in any event, well, from my Chill Rock video, we'll, we'll say. And shout out to the homie Chill Rock, by the way. Uh, solid, solid dude. You know what I'm saying? Makes amazing content. Make sure y'all go check out the homie Chill Rock. You know what I'm saying? Let him know that your boy, JJV, done sent you. I'm sure he would appreciate that. And as would I. The video we're we getting into comes from none other than my man, Captain Kurt. Shout out to Captain Kurt. Uh, no stranger to the channel. He's actually shown love before. Uh, to my channel in a past uh, up church reaction video um, he, he actually left a comment on the past up church reaction video uh, So shout out to Captain Kurt for that um, The video we are getting into from him uh, It's basically him calling out Knox Hill for having a double standard in regards to the n-word so And we're, we're gonna get further into it as the video progresses so Without further ado, y'all, let's just go ahead and jump right into it by liking to hit hit. Oh, man. <laughs> My man already dumbfounded, man. Let's go. These YouTube streets are getting wild. I couldn't agree more. I've seen all types of things, but today I heard something that completely blew my mind away. Nobody, nigga. But look, we finna check this out, boy. This is this. There's, there's. I, I mean, no disrespect to anybody in the video uh, that's featured in the video. I don't even mean any disrespect to the person that I'm gonna address. So, Knox Hill, I apologize. But I got questions. So, Knox Hill, bro, you you reacted to Y Boys. Hmm. I'm McDonald, you Dennis the menace looking ass nigga. You ain't got no bullets. It's a My bad, y'all. I didn't realize I had the volume low. But yeah, so for those of you who are having trouble um following up, following this, let me or or you may have forgotten. Uh uh and again, this um uh, stems from my um viewing and the video I made on Chill Rock's um video uh where he uh Showed a compilation of reactors reacting to Up Church's song Why Boys from his Blue Jeans 2 album. Which, by the way, don't forget if you have an opportunity, get your copy of Blue Jeans 2. You know what I'm saying? However, you can get it. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, I'm not being paid for that plug, by the way, man. I, I'm just I'm just supporting church because out of love and respect for Up Church. Um, but Knox Hill was one of the reactors that I found very questionable, I found very sus. Because he called out church for using the N word and his rationale in doing so was so corny, so cliche. I'm sorry, but I, I call it like like I see it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, and I don't hold back. So you wanna be mad at me for calling out Knox Hill, be mad at me for calling out Knox Hill, but it is what it is. I keep I keep people honest, you know what I'm saying? Um and basically he made a whole he raised a whole big stank about church using the n-word basically he was white knighting for a community of people who were never calling for a white knight um in the first place you know what i'm saying so why he felt this need to do so i don't know um maybe it's his white guilt maybe it's um something deeper than that i don't know something in his past i don't know but anyway let's go ahead and let this video progress well Hmm. I mean, 
Interesting. First off, he name dropped Tom McDonald, right? So there's no sublims anymore. He's in. Hey, hold on. I just want to make sure the quality of the video is where it needs to be. Looks like we is all systems go. So, okay. Inserting him directly into the conversation. So he's saying that with his chest out. What I don't understand, though, is dropping the N word. I mean, I, I guarantee there's going to be people in the comment section. Well, it's a white guy on a white guy, so it's not really this. But, but why? It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. Like, all I can do is speak from personal experience. Well, here, here's the thing, my guy. The N word, the soft A word, to be more specific, is part of the culture. It's part of the rap and hip hop culture. Like I said, me, in my younger days, I used that word. I'm not ashamed to admit that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, when when me and my my homies when we used that in the hood, we didn't look at it as anything as negative. All we knew was that, you know, hey, we 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 was just some little homies, you know what I'm saying? That lived the rap and hip hop lifestyle. We walked and talked rap and hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And we basically just wanted to be like our favorite rappers, talk like our favorite rappers. That's all it was to us, dog. It was never anything deeper than that, right? As you guys know. I'm a white kid. I grew up in an all black county. My best. So basically, you have the same origin story as Eminem, is what you're saying. Hmm? I find that too convenient. Oh, yo, I'm a white kid. I was a white kid. I grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood. Yeah, so did Eminem. Your 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 point. Best friend is black. That's who I started rapping with. And here was one of the things that I I had to call out because dog. That was so corny. That was so cliche. My best friend is black. You use the whole my best friend is black cliche in your argument. Which is suspect as all hell, man. Because it, it do you really have a best friend who's black? I, I mean, I have to question that, dog. Because that's such... It, it, it's an argument that's so played out, dog. It's so played out and outdated. And it kind of shows just how out of touch you are. As you guys know... I'm a white kid. I grew up in an all-black county. My best friend is black. That's who I started rapping with. When I go on tour later this year, you'll see me and him together. You know, a lot of my circle and my people. Yeah, I come from a black community. So for me, you know, you talk about like street cred and sort of street passes. Like amongst my people, sure, I could say it. But from... No, no, you cannot. Because apparently you're uncomfortable with the word. And you have issues with other people using the word. So if you have issues with other people who look like you uh, using the word and you don't have that pass. My side of things, I never do say it. I, Be because you can't say it. I never want to say it. I'm sure you do, but like I said, you can't say it. <laughs> I know it's a part of, of hip hop and so many people use it and I'm sure there'll be arguments down below. And see, and look, you just contradicted your argument and you said, yeah, I'm sure it's part of the culture. No shit. <laughs> It is. I mean, it is, bruh. Oh, about this, but for me, if you look at the history and you look at the roots of that word, it's such a divisive word. And you guys know here on my channel, I stand for uniting people. I stand for bringing people together. So something is... Really? Um, this from a guy who is reacting to a diss track, which causes division... And you've reacted to diss tracks before, which again, diss tracks cause division. And you yourself made diss tracks. As a matter of fact, didn't you have a diss track season with King Dada not too long ago? So, again, contradicting yourself, my guy. You're not being consistent, which makes you look all kinds of sus. Divisive is that. I just, I, I don't see it because it doesn't really make sense for the bars that he's saying and what he's doing. And for me, I'm kind of disappointed in church. It's almost like he's saying it because he knows he can get away with it in this sense. Because he's got such a loyal following and upbringing. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reactors that gaslight it or just like skim over that. But for me, I can't, I can't just skim over that, man. I'm not. Yeah, some of us um, are going to gaslight it as you put it or skim over it because look at the end of the day it's just a word it's just a word <sighs> that's a shame that's a shame because I've, I've really been breaking this down in this diss and it's gonna it, it... and you didn't agree with what church said which 
Okay, that's understandable. I mean, it is kind of odd considering you're a white dude. It's not even, do you have no dog in the fight? And it's offensive to you, and I don't know. I mean, you of all people should know church's vocabulary is way deeper than than that word. And and Kurt is absolutely 100% correct in that statement. I mean, church has come a long way as far as his lyrical ability, as far as his vocabulary is concerned. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, his his... His uh, verbiage these days is far superior from when I first heard of, of dude. So let's go. If that word was said, there's got to be bigger meaning to that word. So I just think it's kind of odd that you you acted like he pulled out. Um, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, so you're allowed to have the opinion. That's that's okay. I accept that. Like I said, we're not gonna walk around that. I'm just gonna say I I do a hundred percent understand that you can have that opinion and you're entitled to that opinion. Which um, I have to agree with Kurt on, but like I said, I I don't agree with his opinion. Um, again, given with the tropes that he used um, to enforce his opinion, again using the the cliche, my best friend is black. Oh, and Again, I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. Maybe um, I'm assuming too much. But I don't know. I, I just find it funny that dude has a similar, if not the exact same origin story as Eminem. You know what I mean? Being this, this white kid who grew up in a predominantly black county, predominantly uh, black community. I mean, I don't know. See, it, it's... It's it's things like that that I look at that, you know what I mean, that really makes me think, you know what I'm saying? And it just makes me question things. So, anyway. What I don't understand is this. Ooh, period. Ain't nobody doing it like Knox. Nobody, nigga. But look, we finna check this out, boy. Down channel on YouTube, period. Ain't nobody doing it like Knox. Nobody, nigga. But look, we finna check this out, boy. Also, mm -hmm. you go low. You're you're a low ass nigga. Uh, like he could be saying low key. Like he could be he could be saying like like uh like because he messes with dudes. <laughs> he could be that could be multiple things he's saying mm -hmm. there. Only large people in order for him to catch everything you said about him. <laughs> and see, look at how how can you be about unity, right? And against divisiveness when you just put out a diss on Benzino. You know what I'm saying? Why are you feeling this need to fight Eminem's battle for him? Hmm. Hmm. Me being real, I don't. I don't like that nigga. I don't like that nigga. I don't give a fuck. Yo, Ray Vibes is a legend, man. You want to talk about someone else who is just fun? So tell me this. You are getting praise, and. These dudes are using this word and you're okay with it. You're actually smiling, endorsing it, clapping. Hell, you even told Shaq, hey, I put this on the front side of my album. Best boy breakdown channel on YouTube, period. Ain't nobody doing it like Knox. Nobody, nigga. But look, we finna check this out, boy. I, I feel like that's gotta like be the intro to an album right there. Like that is the co-sign of the century. I know this. And so, yeah, I see what, what Kurt is driving at right there. And I have to agree with this um, because, yeah, here's the thing, dude. If you got a problem with one person, regardless of who they are, what they look like using that word, then and, and you're going to hold that person to a standard, then, yes, you need to hold everyone, regardless of who they are, what they look like to that same standard. You know what I'm saying? If you have a problem with that word, have a problem with everybody using that word. You know what I'm saying? Because... See, right here, you are basically proving, you know what I'm saying, that you have a double standard when it comes to that word. You feel like only certain people should be allowed to use that word and certain people should not be allowed to use that word. Yes, that is a, a, a double standard, my guy. And uh, that is a no-fly zone for me. And as much as I hate to say it, because, uh, but I mean, I'm going to go ahead and call, call a spade a spade, but it kind of makes you look a little racist. You know what I'm saying? When you feel only certain people should be allowed to say that word and certain people shouldn't. 
Again, you're supposed to be about unity, right? That word then should be a universal word when it comes to the culture. You see how that works? So tell us you're not low key racist without telling us you're not low key racist. I'm just saying. Anyway. This is crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I don't know, man. How can you be mad at church for using it in a diss track to another white dude that has nothing to do with you? Well, and then that whole, see this whole like no life shack esque over the top reaction to it. You know what I mean? Fucking fucking bobblehead George Clooney looking ass boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is that? Huh? Right. But now there's three black dudes telling you this and that and this and that your diss track's dope and you're just eating it up smiling clapping yep. cheering tell yep. them they're the greatest reactors ever Fact. they got they're the best y'all are the best reaction channels ever the best breakdowns the best everything mm -hmm. like but yet you just said two days ago that that word no you you don't you don't respect that word you don't respect that word coming out of people's mouth like i i, I don't know I don't know, man. That's my question, Knox. Why is it okay for this person to do it and not the next? It should be, if, if this person can't do it, nobody can do it. If, if that word's bad, you shouldn't respect it coming out of anybody's mouth. Facts, facts. It needs to be fair across the board. Either that word is universal and everyone across the board is allowed to use it or no one is allowed to use that word at all you know what i'm saying like i said if you're gonna hold church to that standard you gotta hold everyone across the board to that same standard you know what i'm saying if you're gonna hold church to a standard and then hold everyone else to another standard you know what i mean by saying oh this person because of who he is what he looks like can't say it but oh but these people can again that's a double standard my guy and again and having a double standard makes you low-key racist it may not be intentional but that's what that is i mean let's call a spade a spade let's keep it a buck i'm just saying let's go and you shouldn't endorse it no at least beep it out on your channel yeah why not yeah why not censor it i mean if the word bothers you that much then regardless of who says it beep it out censor it out you know what i mean cut it out you know what i mean put some kind of sound effect over it i mean like I said, to me, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's just a word. I myself have used it before. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, I thought it was part of the rap and hip-hop slang. It was part of the lingo, whatever. At least that's how I used it. That's how my homies used it. You know what I'm saying? And because I've used it, I would be a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? If I criticize the next man, regardless of who they are and what they look like, for using it. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. The only thing I may have said in regards to criticizing that word is that I feel like a lot of rappers um, carpet bomb their songs with that word so much to the point where they, they basically use it as filler. Does that mean that the word should be out of the song altogether? No, not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? But I wish they would dial it back because, again, I feel like it's lazy writing and they oversaturate it again. And it makes it it makes it feel like like a filler word because they can't write good lyrics or whatever so they got to put something there to kind of carry them over to their next bar or rhyme scheme or whatever the case you know what i'm saying so uh yeah you know that's that's my challenge to artists when it comes to the usage of that word you know what i'm saying i'm not saying get rid of the word altogether if that's part of your your lingo if that's part of your verbiage fine whatever but i don't need to hear it like after it I don't need to hear it as like every other word, you know what I'm saying? In every single line, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it takes away from the art. It takes away from, from the song, the music, and the message you're trying to convey. You know, that that to me is, is my biggest critique when it comes to using that word. But again, I don't care if people use the word because at the end of the day, it's just a word. 
That's the least you could do. Yep. I don't know, man. Like I said, this is no disrespect. It's just confusing to see a lot of these folks freaking out on Upchurch for saying a word. You know what I mean? Losing their mind because he's he's breaking down other people coming after him. So he's going after them. Like, uh, I don't know, dude. I, I, I'll never get it. I, I, I'll, I'll never get it. I try to understand this internet stuff and I'll never get it. I mean, this was days apart, bro. I'm just saying. These are my questions, bro. I just don't get it. I was I was kind of confused. Um, yeah. And you know what? I'm curious to see if Knox Hill ever reacted to Adam Calhoun's racism song because ACAL said the word in that song. And I would be curious to hear what Knox Hill has to say about ACAL saying that word. You know what I'm saying? Because um, so one of the things I noticed, too, in regards to ACAL and racism, um, no one ever really made such a huge deal, as far as I know, from my perspective. I could be wrong. There may be some people out there um, that have, but as far as I know, nobody ever really made, it, made a big deal when ACAL said it in his song Racism. And the, and the biggest common excuse that I've heard for him getting the pass on using it is, well, it, it, it's context. It's context. Okay, what? Like, nah, man, if, if, again, if you're going to give certain people a pass, you know what I mean? You got to give everyone a pass, dude. You know what I mean? Don't hold one person to a standard and hold everyone else to a different standard. You know what I'm saying? Because then, because then it, it, it makes you look fake. It makes you look phony. You know, a big fat phony. I'm just saying. Didn't expect that, bro. All right, y'all, so that is Captain Kirk's video that was titled, Why Knox? Should it matter who says it? And to answer uh, Kurt's question, I don't think it really matters. You know what I'm saying? Because even ACAL has said, too, hey, look, man, it's just the it's just a word at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Who really gives a fuck? You know? Bruh. You know what I'm saying? I choose not to say it today, and I already gave, I gave my reasons as to why I don't in my Chill Rock reaction. You want to go and um, hear about that? Go check out the Chill Rock reaction. Um, I'll be sure to have that video pop up at the end screen. Uh, if not, it's one of my most recent um, uploads. So if you go to uh, my videos tabs and scroll down, it's it's not that far. Um, yeah, it's not that long ago, and you should be able to find it right away. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, man, totally agree with Kurt on this video. Much love and respect to Captain Kurt for putting up this video, calling Knox out. Disrespect or not, I mean, <clears throat> no, no offense to Kurt, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade, but you, you can't be worried about, because look, your intentions in making this video may not come off disrespectful, but it's up to Knox how he's going to take this video and take um, this call out that, that you gave him. So I wouldn't worry too much about whether or not you calling him out and basically, you know, keeping him honest is disrespectful or not. You know what I'm saying? Knox may catch feels. He may not. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. There, there's no shame in keeping in keeping um, content creators, certain content creators, or any content creator, really, for that matter, honest. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to their views on certain things. Especially content. Especially their, their views when it comes to a subject like the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, because, you know, like like Church said, man, like both Pac and Church have said, you know what I'm saying? Listen to, you know, your favorite artist, or in this case, your favorite content creator, you know what I'm saying? And hold them accountable for their words. Hold them accountable for, for their verbiage. Don't be afraid to call them out and question the things that they say, you know what I'm saying? And how they react will will show you, you know what I'm saying, the kind of person that they really are. You know what I mean? Right. Anyways, y'all, pretty much uh, my take on this whole situation. Uh, if you guys are feeling it, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe, especially if you're new and especially if you're feeling the vibes. I'd be very much appreciated. Shout out to everyone that's been supporting. Uh, really means the world. And uh, yeah, till next one, it's your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. All right, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV?
What up, Jason? JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to do that. Please say what's up to me. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm not be too happy. I'm not expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe. Tap the little bell. Turn on the notifications. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.